guys and good morning. This is my nice morning face. Um, had quite the morning this morning, but I figured that I would film a get ready with me and um, kind of do some facts about me rather than just having a sit down video and be like, hey, this is my life. So I'll show you the products that I'm using to get ready. Um, I'm actually going to work today and yeah, so enjoy. So um, I'll tell you a little bit about my morning first. Um, so I woke up and um, I, I'm using the NARS. If it would focus, why are you no focus? Okay. Um, so I woke up early because of the time change and I thought that it was like an hour later than it was. So I like got up and started like starting my day. Then I realized what time it was and I couldn't fall back asleep. So um, I went and got coffee and on the way back, my car started like freaking out and my battery light came on. It was just a mess. So yeah. Um, anyways, so I had another sponge like this. Um, I actually got this, I think, from like Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something. I had another one that was way better, but it was, it got really old, so I decided to like switch it. I'm sorry if this is like really, really bright. Um, it's the lights up here. Okay, so I'll start throwing out some facts about myself. I like wrote them down on my phone so I would remember. Um, so I kind of mentioned in the first video that um some of the things that i'm gonna repeat so i am 21 years old and i just graduated from college so i went to school for three years um instead of four just because i wanted to get out a year early and um go to cosmetology school so i'm still kind of deciding whether or not i'm gonna do that i don't know i just i kind of had like second thoughts about it and i was deciding if I wanted to do something else so I kind of want to get my personal trainer certification so that could be an option um I think I'm probably going to go back to school I mean I can always get my certification in addition to cosmetology school so I guess we'll see so I got um, my degree in um, business administration because basically I the reason why I went to school for three years like I mentioned is because I wanted to go to cosmetology school and then I would open up my own salon with my business degree. My powder, it's kind of crappy, it's the wet and wild. Oh, so you can see by my sweatshirt. So I cheered all through high school, um, all four years. That's kind of like where it started. And then I cheered one year in um, college, but I ended up getting hurt. I got a stress fracture in my hip. So at that point I was kind of like, you know what, like, I'm just, I'm done. I, I don't want to hurt my body anymore because I had so many injuries all through um, high school. Um, and then I also, I danced for 12 years. So I started when I was three years old and then it went through high school and then I kind of started to invest more of my time into cheerleading. It was kind of like I couldn't do both at the same time. Um, so I stopped dancing. Um, I think it was going into my junior year. Um, and then I was cheerleading. So in college, I cheered for one year, like I said, and then I ended up getting hurt. And when I got hurt, that opened up the new door of allowing me to study abroad. So my sophomore year, I um, studied abroad. This is the Too Faced bronzer. It's the cocoa one, it smells so good. Um, so I studied abroad and I went to Florence, Italy. And, oh my god, it was like the best experience of my life. I wish I could go back. I keep saying that I want to go back like every day. So when I got back from Italy, I feel like it was kind of just like an eye-opening experience. I know it sounds like so cliche, but it really forced me to grow up and like just be on my own. Um, I kind of like started seeing things differently and like just thinking about things differently. I don't know. It was it was weird. It, pe when people say study abroad changes you, it really changes you. Um, so I came home and that's also when I started to fall into my love for fitness. So my freshman year of college, I got there and I gained a lot of weight. So like I immediately, my body just like went to shock and I gained like 13 pounds. And I've always been very like small and petite. 
and when I gained the weight I like freaked out I was like what is happening like this has never been like this for me um so that I mean that was a really tough time because it kind of was like I've never seen myself like this and I don't know what to do to fix it before I like knew about lifting and everything it was just I constantly thought I had to do cardio it was just like cardio 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 and I thought that I didn't have to like I thought eating less was better so like there would be days like I literally would barely eat anything because I was like I need to get this weight off like it's freaking me out and it was just very unhealthy so after I got back from being abroad I really started to um, look into like weight training and stuff that's kind of where I found YouTube and I started following um, people like Taylor Chamberlain and then I kind of started finding like Amanda Bucci and Emily Hayden and um, everyone and I started to learn like how you really need to treat your body and that weight training is the way that you're gonna lose the weight so I started doing that and educating myself more on weight training and then from there I kind of just fell in love with it I mean I just I love going to the gym it's a place where I can just get away from everything else this is a little highlighter. All right, I don't know if you can see it. Anyways, um, the gym was just my, it was my escape and it was just something that made me feel so good. And it, I just like, I love, I love to go there. I love to push my body. I love to be able to see like how I can improve. I started to see that I was like good at it. And it was something that I could excel in and keep improving on. Um, and that's kind of where my thought about getting my personal trainer certification came in. I mean, like, people at my gym that I go to now come up to me and ask me who I've trained with, and I was like, no one. I mean, I, I kind of just taught myself, and from watching YouTube, that's been, like, a huge, huge thing in teaching me everything that I, I like, know now. I mean, obviously, I don't know everything, and I don't know a lot, but I know enough to how to kind of work with my own body. Then another thing that I did, um, which really kind of pushed me out of my comfort zone, which I was like terrified to do, um, was we have a bodybuilding club at my school and I was so afraid to join because I was like, I'm not a bodybuilder, like I can't do this. And then when I joined, I was like, wow, okay, like this isn't scary at all. Like, I don't know why I was so worried. And I mean, I love all the people that were in it. I mean, it's just... It's good to surround yourself with people who are so similar to you and have similar interests because it really fuels your creativity, um, it motivates you, it was just like, if I have like one piece of advice, it's to do what you're afraid of doing because conquering that fear is only going to push you into a better place. That was like, so, like, <laughs> who am I? So... Right now, I mentioned in the first video as well that I am working in a bridal salon. I hope my makeup's coming out good because I'm getting really distracted and I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, I'm in my same routine, but... <laughs> oh, Alright. Um, so yeah, I'm working in a bridal salon right now. Um, originally, I was going... So I started this in the summer. I wanted to originally work in a salon just to kind of get myself in that environment and see... Um, if that's definitely something that I wanted to do because I was so on edge about like what I wanted to do. This opportunity came along and it kind of just like fell into place and I absolutely love it. I mean, it's the coolest job. It's so fun to be able to hear everyone's stories about like how they met their fiance and everything and then pick out dresses and it's kind of like you're sharing this huge moment with someone that you met 15 minutes ago. I guess like my biggest dream that I've always had of a career or something that I would want to do I've always wanted to model so when I was little like I always just like loved being in front of a camera like I loved being like not I wouldn't say the center of attention because I am very shy like when I first meet you like I will be like shy and like kind of awkward but once I kind of open up like it's like I'm very like carefree whatever but modeling has just always been something that's been in, in the back of my mind and I wanted to do it but the only real like issue and the thing that stopped me is my height so I'm only five I'm like five five and a half five six but to be 
a model, I mean, what they consider like to get signed with an agency most of the time is, um, oh, I didn't even show you this. So this is the NYX eyebrow like thing. It has like two powders. To get signed with an agency, they want you to be like 5'9". And it's just tough because it's something, this is something that I really, really want to do. And being told that I can't do it because of how my body physically is, like my height, like that was, it's, it's just something that like really, really hurt. Um, I kind of just took a leap of faith and I like just went for it. I was like, okay, like this is the time I want to do it. So I got, um, I met with a photographer, I got some pictures done and ended up going into an agency. From there, I met with them, I had an interview and had a few like digital pictures taken and all of that and a couple days later I heard back and they basically told me the same thing. They said, unfortunately right now we can't, um, we can't sign you because um, of your height. We don't have a lot of work right now in that field. So that was kind of like, it sucked to be honest. Um, I was like, what, like, what do I do now? Like it kind of, kind of destroyed like my spirit about it because I was so motivated. So I ended up getting more pictures done. And like, since then I haven't really, um, gone back to any agencies. I kind of, I want to get some more like different type of pictures done. Like I would love to do fitness modeling because I think that would, um, differentiate myself. And plus it's something that I really, really love to do with modeling. Things are changing, right? I feel like with modeling, more and more people that are around like my height and like my body type, I mean like I'm small, but like I'm not like runway model, like super, super skinny. Like I don't, I don't think that looks good all the time because it's like these girls are most likely having a very unhealthy lifestyle. So it's like since we're changing and kind of creating that new look it's more of like a healthy look which I absolutely love and I think it's awesome because it gives more people like me the opportunity to be able to do what they want to do I mean like this is something that I've always wanted to do so I mean hopefully I'll kind of get back into the groove of things and be able to keep pursuing this because I mean it's just I'm not going to just give up on something because one person told me no that's how I look at it. I mean, at that moment, I was like, like, I don't know what to do. Like, I felt very lost. But then I was like, no, like, this should just fuel me to keep going and do more. So the reason why I kind of always wanted to get into modeling was because I would look at like models and half of like the fashion you see is so different and so like weird. And that's kind of how I was growing up. I was always so different in the way I dressed and kind of the way I like thought and I remember I remember this one scenario I wore this black and white striped shirt like nowadays you look at it and you're like okay like what's so weird about that but I wore it and I remember people made comments they're like what are you wearing like what is that shirt and it like made me feel so self-conscious and I was like, oh my God, like I'm so weird. Like what am I doing wrong? And then I, I don't think I ever wore that shirt again, which is so bad because like looking at it now and looking at how, how I am now, like I don't care. Like I dress the way I want. I feel like I'm, I think very differently and like the way I act, I don't care what people think of me because like I'm me, like I'm myself. There's no one else in the world named Ellen Farmer, there's no one else that is me. I'm the only person like myself, so why am I gonna try to act and conform and be like other people? So that's kind of like what fueled me to start um, my YouTube because there was that fear there before. I was like kind of like, well, no one's gonna watch this. People are gonna think I'm weird. People are gonna judge me like for making videos because I'm I'm me, like who's gonna wanna watch my videos? And then I was like, you know what, like screw it. So I got a camera and it actually, I got this camera for Christmas last year. <laughs> so there still was that hesitation. Recently I was like, why, why am I wasting my time by not doing something that I want to do? And then I guess, I mean, one day I was just like, 
you know what? Like, I'm gonna pick up the camera and I'm gonna go for it. Like, I'm just gonna film these videos. I'm gonna keep going. And you know what? If no one watches, if a thousand people watch, like, either way, it's I'm still doing what makes me happy and what I wanna do. And like, I feel like everyone should should be that way. It's like, I don't get why everyone tries to conform to what society wants or telling you that you should look a certain way or all of that. It's like, be your own person. Don't, don't try to just fit in because every single person has something special that they can bring to the world. And you should be able to do the things that you wanna do without having other people judge you or tell you, oh, you shouldn't do this or anything like that. It's like, why? Like no one, no one should care what other people are doing. Like that's the one thing that like drives me insane. It's like, why do you care what other people are doing? It's not your, it's not your life. It's their life. So why, why like, why should you care? And I have to say like, Thank you guys, like to the people who have actually watched my videos so far, it means so much to me because it's like, people have like reached out to me and been like telling me that they're happy that I'm doing what I want and that they like have watched my videos and like people are supporting me because it's, and some people it's like, people that I wouldn't even expect would watch or support and it just, I don't know, it, it means so much to me and I just like, it pushes me to keep going because I was terrified, terrified to post that first video. I mean, even the second one, because it's kind of like, I mean, they've been pretty random so far. It just, it really, really means a lot to me that you guys watch. And like I said, even if it's like one person or five people or a hundred people, it's like even just having one person to support you and tell you good job, that's like what means so much to me. Just knowing that having someone there and someone who is gonna support you, like you really don't need anything else. And I'm so excited to start this channel. Yeah, I'm getting like all, <laughs> all feelsy right now. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that kind of covers my list. How it feels to be young, and do you remember? Okay, so. I put my hair up. I mean, my makeup came up pretty decent considering I literally wasn't paying attention. Um, but I wanted to show you guys my outfit for today. So you can kind of see here. I just have a dress on. Um, I brought my mirror in. So this is kind of farther away. It's just a little dress. It has some like ruffles. It's like quarter sleeve. And then my shoes, if you can see. So I'm about to leave for work. I actually have to go drive my, just cut my face off, whoa. Um, I have to drive my car to my mom's work and get her car because I don't feel safe driving my truck all the way to work because I don't know what's going on with the battery. So thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I hope I wasn't rambling too much. I like definitely went on a couple rants. Um, but I hope I got like some good footage that actually made sense. I know I was like all over the place, but kind of when I start like talking, kind of like that I'm doing right now, I just keep going and like I, my mind just goes a million different directions. Um, but again, thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please, please, please subscribe. I want to try to get to a hundred subscribers. We'll say by the end of the year. So that gives us like two months. So yeah, that'd be awesome if you guys could do that. Um, and obviously still comment below. I mean, don't feel weird about commenting. Like I, I really wanna know what you guys wanna see and um, what videos I should make. I have like a whole list of videos that I wanna make. So I will be putting those out and hopefully I can get this one edited right away and get up this week. So again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.